Hello everyone, I'm Matt Zap, and welcome to Hand of Fate 2. Um, so... I honestly don't know, like, anything about this game, except for that it's a... It's a card game that also has real-time combat? I don't really know what that means, or anything, but, uh... Yeah, that's what this is apparently about. And also, I have never played the first one either, but... This one was free through the Epic Game Store, uh... Probably by the time this goes up a couple weeks ago. But, uh, yeah, so I, I just thought I'd try this out, you know, give it a try, see how it feels. Um, and hopefully there's no uh, frame drops. I was recording... Um, excuse me. I was recording th another game, uh, 30XX, just a little bit ago, which also checked out that video if you haven't. Um, and I realized that, um, at least in the preview windows of my OBS... My face is kind of framey sometimes, so to form the soul um, of the game we play. These pieces I kind of wish I turned on subtitles. Mistakes. Life, death, and vengeance. You must ride for time is short, and you have much to learn. You got wrinkly hands, sir. And, let us and what's happening with your face? Once more. Oh, there's also weird pictures. Um Am I choosing my gender here? Um, I mean, I got the beard, so I guess I'm this guy. <laughs> Your gender matters in this card game. We know where they end, for you are here. Therefore, these cards must guide you to my side. Let us see what the journey holds. Ah, yeah. oh, the fool. The fool steps into nothingness. Are we doing like a no tarot cards thing or something? You must step into the void. You I like how this thing spirit. keeps shining every Together, so often. We will write your history. Oh. Okay. Okay, uh, you've stumbled many miles through this forest in search of the thieves who robbed you. Though exhausted and hungry, you're... Determined to reclaim your father's amulet. Now you finally catch sight of the thieves hacking at a large tree and argue, arguing amongst themselves. Uh, what, what are these? Is it saying that there's... Okay, is this my my stats? So I got 100 life, 5... five I got 5 apples. I got 5 apples, that's very powerful. Uh, and 10 coins. I'm assuming that's coins. Oh, uh, F1 in my inventory. What the heck? Is this like a full-on, like... A, don't know, like D&D &D thing or something? <laughs> light stun... I got a light stun bash off of that. What the heck? I'm so confused. Okay, I don't know what any of this means. Uh, I'm going to, uh... Move closer to eavesdrops, sure. Every element of the game has been improved. Even those that seem oh. at first glance familiar. Interesting. Don't worry. You will soon understand the nuances. Um I like how this one feels. Okay. So I I'm assuming that it's successfully stealth or something. Uh, creeping forward, you overhear their leader spouting orders. It's simple, he says. The idiots walk down the road, you push over the tree and jump out. They'll be too scared to put up a fight and we'll get rich. Why don't we just jump out and stab them, one retorts. Another hooded figure chimes in. Yeah, corpses don't put up a fight either. Frustration rises in the leader's voice. The Empire doesn't care if a few farmers lose some sprouts, but drop a corpse on the royal road and the place will be filled with soldiers before you've even spent the coin. You don't need that trouble. Oh, quiet, here they come. What does that mean? You soon spot a group of farmers coming around the corner, bringing their wares to market. The thieves fell the tree in... Fell? Uh, whatever. Uh, onto the path of the unsuspecting farmers and leap out weapons brandish. Give us all your food! Ray. <laughs> um... Wait, I, I can help the thieves? <laughs> if I wasn't recording this and be, and playing the good guy, I would probably go with that one just to see what happens. But, um, 
What does the three of toil do? I'm confused. Okay, that card doesn't exist. Never mind. Um, I'm gonna do two. We have no gold, shriek the terrified farmers, but half our crop is yours if you protect us. Okay, sure. That, that's fine. You draw your weapon with practice skill. Well, you hear the leader's voice. Your lads, or you lads, handle this. I'll meet you when you're done. Okay. Oh, are we gonna go into the, the real-time combat portion now? It's gonna be Dark Souls. We're also going through, like, some weird Nexus stuff. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Oh no, here's the... the the bandits, or the thieves, rather. Thug, okay, there's, that's the word. Violence for the sake of violence, and theft for the sake of money. Thieves attack frequently and can evade standards attacks, making heavy weapons less effective. I don't know it. Um, okay, I can... Do I have, like, a wa... Okay, W-A-S-D. Oh, crap. What? My, okay, so I got a, uh, it's a parry that I have. Oh, wait, F? Oh, F to pay respects, he just went clipped through the tree. Wow. <laughs> uh, what was that about a left shift? Ow. Owned. Ow, he just kicked me and it did a bunch of damage. Oh yeah. All the farmers died, but that's okay, because then I can just loot all their crop. <laughs> and I don't even have to feel bad about it. But the brigands dispatch the farmers turn to you. I hope your price doesn't prove too high. If the next harvest comes short, we'll starve regardless. Not my problem. <laughs> I'm sorry. You fall on the food with a sigh, shoveling bread in your mouth. I fall on the food? Come on, man, you're just destroying it. Your satisfaction lasts only a moment before you realize your father's amulet is not among the takings. Their leader must have it. You set to your feet, determined to find him. Oh, so we go through like, um, it's like, you know, you got your card and you go through like a scenario or something like that. Like, uh, that, that's really interesting. I like, I like this so far. I'm not a big fan of using like a tarot card type of theme for it. But anyways, uh, while enjoying a moment beside the fire, you spy a strange figure approaching your camp. It's a goblin dressed in what must pass for goblin refinery. From beneath a, fil a filthy fox pelt serving as an ill-fitted fitting wig, the goblin winks at you with wild red eyes. Aha! I've been roaming these, I've been roaming for hours trying to find you. We must get this over with quickly if I have any hope of getting to all the people on my nest before sunrise. It lowers a sack from its shoulder. Now, from within my sack, I can conjure, conjure whatever your heart desires. Goblin's voice trails off as he examines his sack. Well, I could if there was a blooming great big hole in it. His head disappears entirely into the bag until his bulbous nose protrudes from the breach. New plan, then. The goblin pulls out his last trinkets. Okay, so I get to either pick up a sword, a axe, or a shield. Can I look at my inventory for this? Nope. I don't know what I even have. Um, I guess the sword? Like, I, I don't know what I even have. I don't know what I need to upgrade the most. You know? I'm gonna go with the, the, the sword. Oh, okay, we get to compare it. Um, Ooh, I have a riposte. Against northerners? What am I? Uh, directionalist? <laughs> okay, um... Well, it does two more damage, has this cool repose sound, I think. The critical strike is better, although it requires one more hit, but I think that's that's fair. Um, 
Sure, yeah, that sounds good. A wise choice, now I must go. There are many others I must visit before I can rest. The gobbler runs off into the night, his fox wig flapping in the evening breeze. Change equipment. Uh-huh. So, I click on this? Okay, that's a neglected sword. Uh, and just for future reference, what, what are the, what's with this? So, uh, eyes inspect. Um, this is rusty and cannot be sold or exchanged. Okay, just four defense. I think the other one was... Was the other one ten? I think so. Um, you got charged bash. Uh -oh, this is a, sh a short... Excuse me, stun. Defend attacks to charge and extend the stun duration. Okay. And then... Okay, the hood doesn't do anything, but... Cool, okay, so now the next card. Hey, more healing. This card has a token. Oh, it's a token! I can't get the token! Wait. Oh, crap, I wasn't reading what the thing was. Uh, this one. Okay. I guess I just ignore the token then? <laughs> I thought I was supposed to, like, click on it or something, but... Um, you follow the song through thicket and stream until you find an open glade bathed in golden sunlight. You find an aged maiden, her posture bent like the bows of a forest. It has been twelve winters since I had a visitor. Her voice is a whisper, yet it thunders in your ears. You may visit me when you are need, adventurer. This is yours now. Even if you lose the challenge, you have earned this token. <laughs> so it was like, the the sound effect was like, Brenton! <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. Okay, so... The tokens are like, collectibles I gotta find? For like, subsequent playthroughs or something? I, I'm not really sure. Nothing could be more fitting now than me. I'm guessing this game is a roguelike of some sort. Uh, a trail of fallen trees and distraught farmers leads you to the thieves who had stolen your amulet. It seems their f inf infighting has only gotten worse. The bandits surround their former leader, weapons drawn. Everyone will get their fair share. There's no need for violence, the leader implores. Who ever heard of a thief talking about fair share, spits one. You turn up and boss us around. We barely stabbed anyone. It's been days since I've stabbed anyone. Days! They're really, they really like shanking, apparently. Uh, the leader notices you approaching and waves you over. As much as I love to continue this discussion regarding stabbings, I'm afraid I have urgent business with my associate here. Oh, I was friends with them? When did that... Uh, when was that a thing? <laughs> okay. As he greets you, he whispers, Keep me alive and there'll be plenty of gold for your trouble. Um... I'm gonna tell him that. I'm gonna be straightforward. Like, here's why I'm gonna disagree with you. Uh, he holds up a finger. Uh, which one? It's very important to know which one he's holding up. <laughs> he holds up, uh, first rule of negotiation. Never let them know what you want. Kill my associates and I'll gladly return your ambulance. Ever reliable, the thieves draw their blades to monk you. The leader hurries away to hide. I guess that's true, but... Uh, I'm I'm an honest man. Give us your stuff or we'll stab you up. <laughs> Can they use the word cuts or something? They got blades. They don't have spears. <laughs> and even with spears, you could cut me still. <laughs> I'm going to fight them. I can melee after... Oh, I can... Okay. Also, can I look at the controls again? I kind of forgot everything except for attack, defend, and um, move. And then there's F to own them or something. Oh, okay. Ow. Okay, so there's the repost. Uh-oh, it's getting a little framey on the game, and for me. Okay. 
Ow. Just die. <laughs> oh, he got killed. <laughs> Can is, can we have like a different narrator? This guy kind of makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> With the battle resolved, the thief leader nods in approval at the carnage before him. He holds out his hand. The name is Malaclips. Malaclips, bard extraordinaire. His smile fades under your withering glare. Sensing your anger, he raises his hands in surrender. Wait, let's not be hasty. I'm assuming the, the Malaclips guy is supposed to look like this, given that he's a bard. We're on the same side here. I'm an upstanding citizen just like you. I've been working with the thieves, yes, but only for the greater good. Oh, really? They were killing people before I came along. I know it seems bad, but look. He pulls out an amulet from his pockets and presses it into your hand. All is forgiven, yes. The stare of the amulet does not look familiar. Oh? Eliclips says, scratching his head, he opens a small satchel. So, which one is yours? Oh, I get the... <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Um, I'm trying to figure out what these symbols on the side here are. This is, a, I'm assuming, like a sun and like birds, so kind of like a sky type of thing. This is obviously like a moon and stars, so nighttime. Uh, this kind of looks like it's supposed to be representative of a wheat or something, or some sort of crop. Um... And this one, I don't even know. It look, it kind of looks like feet, but also like not. It also, kind of looks like rocks or something. Um, I want to go with the lion one though, because the lion one's cool. The lion amulet that suits you. Very familiar. Very similar facial structure. Say, you know what? I'm lonely. You're lonely. We should work together. A uh, friend of. Malaclips, the the trickster. You should probably get to know one. Uh, we, sh we should probably get to know one another, seeing as we're going to be friends for life. Malaclips says, "Tell me, where are you from?" Oh, am I gonna fight Malaclips now? How dare you ask me where I'm from? I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> oh no, we're at a campsite. Ooh, this is cool. Yo, I am hulked up, man. I get to create my character? Uh, this button. Okay, I'm getting to choose my hairstyle. We only get four hairstyles. This is... Oh, whoops. Um, I kind of like the white. I don't know really why, but... Oh, I could just change my amulet, okay. Um, oh, I can change my outfit color. Uh, oh, whoops. No, oh, rotate this one, okay. I, I think I was trying to drag it, but I think you just gotta click. Um, oh, kind of a weird way to do like a skin color thingy, but... um. I don't know. I mean, this one kind of... I, I kind of like this one for some reason, so... Maybe it's just because, like... Everything has, like, a good contrast, even, like, the skin color to hair color. I don't know. Uh, from Sutherland, eh? You don't say. Good sorts from Sutherland. Very trusting. Oh, by the way, I i mean we, friend, owe m money to Vignus of the Thieves' Guild. He's quite angry with us. We should journey to Mirebridge together to appease him. Some gold might help. Although, come to think of it, I'm rather busy in Malaclub's eyes a pretty traitor hiking up the road. So, it'd be best if you get the gold and I meet you there. I mean, a mug of random lady? Uh, oh, map. Oh, okay. You have to kind of just look at where I'm at or something. Okay, um, interesting game so far. 
I was so I'm, I'm guessing that we're going into like kind of like a full game here um which I was not expecting I thought that would just be kind of like a tutorial and that would be it or maybe we're still in the tutorial but it's just really long which uh you know couldn't very well be true but um I think I'm going to end off the episode here. I'm noticing more frame drops on my end, at least. Hopefully that's not in your guys' end. But, uh, yeah, okay. I think that'll be it for this episode. It's a pretty good game so far. Uh, let me know if you want to see more. I might do, like, a couple episodes just to kind of get a better feel for it, maybe. Um, but we'll we'll see. Um, so, yeah. Thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, follow me on f Twitter and Facebook to reliably stay up to date on all the going on here at the channel. And I'll see you all in the next episode.